<laughs> you haven't done this before though, right? Yeah, but not having this type of a setup. Yeah. It was a lot harder just heating the water on my stove, carrying the oh, hot yeah. water outside. That was a lot harder. Yeah. I imagine so. <laughs> this is way easier. Yeah. What's your job? Little girl. What's your job? Uh, dunking them. Dunking them, okay. Big quality control. Yeah. How's the setup going so far? Going all right. We've had a request to do a video about how we set everything up and how it works and everything, so yeah, we'll go through that in a little bit. I need a, I need a different stopper in the seat so I can let it run out as it's running in. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Maybe it's a grab. All right, so I'm quality. I'm doing what you're doing right now, baby. Is that what my job is now? No, this is. I'm oh, you're still the you're lungs out. And oh, okay. So I'm just gonna be beside you right here. Cutting off the feet and cutting this thing. So. Okay, so as far as quality control, what? Just making sure just make what? Make sure the lungs are out, clean. All the inside guts are out. Okay. Ten feathers. Are out. Okay. Okay. Make sure the, the tail oil gland is off. Okay. I might need some help with that, Daddy. Well, our first uh, chicken butchering day of the year went really, really well. We had a beautiful, um, we had beautiful weather today. This was like perfect weather for, for this. And um, we got a new setup. So, what do you think? How'd it go? Good. It went well. Do you want to change anything? Well, we need a way for the water to drain out of here as it's running in, I guess. I mean, it, once we figured it out, it wasn't too bad. But we're using this to kind of pre-chill and, and uh, wash the birds out. So we kept having to flush it out. Yeah. But other than that, not really. We need more people. <laughs> yeah, my friend Jessica and her little girl came. Um, they have butchered before um, at home by hand. And so they wanted to see how it worked with all of the equipment and um they were a lot of help so we were glad we had them we had all the kids helping and um 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to do something I've never done before. Pull out chicken testicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't usually, I'm not usually on the... Oh, you meant quality control. <laughs> gotcha. Well, and the testicle part too. But, um, yeah, I don't usually do anything with like the the assembly line part yeah. of it. Like, I'm, I'm usually like baby on my hip and when he's not then i'm packaging at the end but mm -hmm. so it was nice to be able to help too next time i'd like for you to do this part the dunking yeah okay that's, that's probably the most important part of this whole job mm -hmm. is the scald and, the, and well really the scald yeah killing in the scald is probably one of the most important parts right so no it worked well yeah i love all this it's gonna be nice yeah these are these saved a ton of time because before we had a sprayer hanging down you had to reach for the sprayer and turn it on and all that yeah but with this you just turn this valve at the volume you want you know something like that and it's just always running yeah as you're as you're mm -hmm. you know cleaning the bird yeah i thought that worked good mm -hmm. he said he saw this trick when we went up to uh polyface a few years ago and they had wires up through their tubing for mm -hmm. the this and it helped to be able to bend yeah. it so you can bend this around it whatever works. however way you want it so that's pretty cool i didn't know you had <coughs> observed that so um but we're just finishing up packaging right now uh half of the birds today went to one of our customers so we're thankful for them yeah. um very nice yes we were just talking about that just how blessed we are with um customers that yeah continuously need what we are producing here so and they just understand like i called her and i was like i mean she has a huge walk-in freezer and i just called her and i just said can we just bring these over you know so we don't have to store them yeah because typically we'll just take over however many she needs for the month but um yeah it's nice that she understands right she's a chef so she uses mm -hmm. a lot of our chicken in her dishes as well as our eggs so mm -hmm. yep. um, we're very blessed with her um, yeah so it's been a really good day we worked really hard um, tomorrow's Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there um, it's actually our littlest one's birthday as well so we're gonna celebrate we're gonna celebrate him tomorrow and um, that kind of thing just have a good sunday together today or tomorrow so i'm tired how about you tired. are you tired yeah okay I'm that yeah me too my feet hurt. yeah my feet hurt too we, that's one thing we need to do different we went to lowe's to look for some um little foamy mats that are good for your joints and everything when you're standing for a long time okay there's were like fifty dollars each like for a little rectangular mat so adam got these but they are um they get slippery so we're gonna have to figure out something different with that yeah but this is our setup um we might change a few things about where everything is around here but for the most part it worked really really well and we're really glad we're out here this year we can see people coming in our driveway typically we're down by our building where we can't really see what's going on up at the house and um yeah that's probably my favorite part yeah having a dedicated space just for this yeah and, you know we're up here where we can see what's going on yeah we can see all the animals and watch our tomatoes grow <laughs> And there's always a nice breeze through here. Yeah. So it it was really, really nice today. So very pleased. All right. We will talk to you guys next time.